At the end of yesterday's lecture, one of the students approached me and asked me a question that made me realize that he was under the understanding that that symbol works only with DC sources. My students, it does not. That is a universal, a universal one-size-fits-all kind of symbol for independent voltage sources. That voltage is whatever the function of time f of t says it has. The polarity of the symbol tells us that whenever f of t is positive, the terminal that has the plus sign is higher than the other one, and vice versa. In 201, of course, we had only DC sources, so f of t was reduced to a constant value, 7 volts, 10 volts, 100 volts. But that is only a very specific and uh, particular use of the symbol. That could be a function of time like this one, it's a decaying oscillation, or perhaps could be a sinusoidal function of time, 7 cosine over 100 t. That symbol is for everything, everything. Sometimes, when we are designing maintenance schematics, then we substitute the universal symbol for very specific symbols to tell the technician that will repair the equipment what he should expect at one point in the circuit, a DC source. That symbol is only for DC. It's exclusively DC or a sinusoidal function of time only or a square wave or a sawtooth wave. Me, during design, during analysis, I will stick with a universal symbol, the one size fits all. That one, and that is what I wanted to say. Thank you.